There you go guys, first fish of the night. Had a fair bit of stuffing around to get it, but I'll talk to you about that in a second. Welcome to, oh he just spat Yabby right in my face. <laughs> Welcome to the video, we're chasing whiting tonight. I'll deal with this guy and then I'll talk to you. Thanks for joining us. Not huge guys, but a good start anyway. He's all right. G'day guys, Will Kitching here. Welcome back to another video. Now that was a pretty good way to start there with that uh, whiting you just saw. And uh, as you can probably tell, that's what we're chasing tonight. We're gonna have a relaxing night hopefully and uh, catch a few nice whiting. I'm here with dad next to me and my brother Matt is here as well, who you would have seen on my channel a few times before. He's taking a bit more relaxed approach to fishing up in the cabin, but uh, he'll jump out and catch a few as the night goes on too, hopefully. So anyway, fingers crossed we can get onto a few. Yeah, we haven't fished for whiting for a while, so we'd be happy with anything really, but uh, yeah, fingers crossed we can get some nice ones and uh, have a nice relaxed night sitting up here. Nice night anyway, so uh, yeah, that's the main part. So I'm also testing a new product tonight that I got sent from EcoFlow called the EcoFlow River, which is a battery pack or power pack, which is perfect for trips like this. Um, but I'll talk to you about that more in depth in a couple of minutes. For now, we're gonna try and get a couple more whiting. So you'll see us in a second, hopefully with some bent rods. How you doing? Actually going all right. No. You're not going real hard, is he? No. Here we go. Here we go. Now he's going. Get your tip up, it's sir. It's going to be a whining. Yeah, it's a decent one. Right, yeah. Lift. Oh. Lift him lift. in, Matt. You, you can't whine anymore. Lift. 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 Swing lift. Swing him. Ha ha ha. Good fishing, Matt. You got him. That's a nice one. Look at that one, guys. That's alright. There's that one Dad just got, guys. As a party boat goes past, a bit better quality of fish that one. Getting a little bit up to the size we like. So, um, anyway, got some more bass back out there. It's been slow, but we're just sort of sitting here relaxing and uh, you know getting the odd one. So it's been good. Well, And there's another one straight after. So that's all right, a couple in quick succession. Hopefully they continue like that. Lucky dad was watching the rod then. Come on, bigger. <laughs> As always, dad's just mentioned that his is bigger. It's not often that I get a bigger fish than dad, especially when we're chasing whiting. All right, well, that's a great start to the session. A couple of nice whiting there. But I just thought I'd really quickly interrupt to tell you about this product that we're testing on this trip. This is the EcoFlow River Portable Power Bank. Now we've been using this for the last week or so camping and fishing and it's been absolutely unreal. Now before we get into all the close-ups and everything like that, a couple of the things we've been using it for is actually the light in the boat in this session that you're watching. We're powering this light here which uh, lights up all the rods for us, lights up the whole back deck. Without that it is pitch black. We can see the rod's really good here and uh, everything we're doing, which is awesome. Usually we'd have to plug that into the boat and drain the batteries in the boat, but having that power pack there, the EcoFlow River has been awesome. And uh, when we first plugged that in, I'd already charged my camera and had my phone on there for a little while. And when I plugged this in, it told me that it, it would power that on the highest setting for 14 hours, which is more than enough for an overnight trip. The EcoFlow River is just tucked away in the cabin right now, taking up hardly any space as well. I'll show you that. So that's it down there. Just tucked away. Hopefully you can see that. 
and we've also been doing some cooking with it. So we plugged in an electric fry pan while we were camping and cooked dinner in it for the family. So it's even awesome for that. So if you want to take it camping, you can cook, you can take coffee machines, hair dryers, any luxuries that you want. You can plug it into it, you can charge your phones, charge your cameras, laptops. It has a light on it, it's got everything, but I'll show you that in a second. The quickest charge for this, from 0% to 80% is one hour, and full charge is 96 minutes. There's also a solar panel option, which you can recharge it, which is awesome for off-grid living and camping and stuff like that, and that takes four hours to fully charge. So that's it, plugged into the solar panels. How perfect would that be for camping and uh, off-grid living and all that sort of stuff? Absolutely awesome. Anyway, we'll get some close-ups and go through the features of this thing. Hopefully you can see that, but when you press the on button here, the screen comes up, it tells you the percentage that's left in it. So at the moment it's 67% because we've been uh, using it a fair bit. On the left it's got hours. So when you plug something in, it'll tell you how many hours it'll run using that. So for example, when I plugged the light in for this fishing session, it told me that it would run at 14 hours until it died with uh, that light on. So that's really cool. And it's also got the input and output of your watts over on the right. It's got a, a light here you can turn on, brighter and flashing or off. So that's handy. You could use that camping and stuff. Um, it's got USB-C, USB and fast charge USB. It's also got a cigarette lighter here. If you pull this out, and that's what we plug the light into, which is awesome. Now, coming around this side, this is a really interesting one. So these are two 600 watt AC outlets with a capacity of 720 watt hours. So this can power nine devices simultaneously and some devices up to 1800 watts with the X boost mode on. This lets you power about 80% of essential devices like kitchen appliances and DIY tools. All right, so EcoFlow are extending their biggest promo for this year for Christmas until the 28th of December. So make sure you check them out and get yourself and the family an EcoFlow as the best gift for, the, for this summer. Check out the links in the description and you could save $700 and you could also check out my coupon code to get another 5% off. And uh, if you use that coupon code and buy a product, I'll get a tiny bit of money to help support the channel and I'll put it straight back into the channel to make videos for you guys. So yeah. Check out the links in the description and the coupon code. Morning? Yeah, no. Little yeah. one. Get the in your rod back. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, What's that? Huh? that? That's that other rod going on. Was it? Yeah, the reel is going on. You got a fish. Hold get it, Matt. Get There's one Matt just got, guys. So for up here where we're fishing, it's not a very uh, big fish at all, but um, you know, it's been a pretty slow night. So anyway, at least it's a whiting. We're getting a few bites, so hopefully we can start converting some. Will righty, righty, righty. righty. Doesn't look too bad. No, it might be alright. No. Little fellas. Better than no fellas, I guess, but mm. yeah, they're not they're not the big ones that were uh we need a knife. Mm. Couple more there guys. About the same size. That'd be a school coming out the back of the boat I'd say. I'm only here for the big suck. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it might be better than I thought. Yeah, you're going alright. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Well, they're not real big. I think you just hit them. Not a big one again, guys. It's our first whiting session for a fair while, so I'm just happy to be uh, 
seeing some hitting the deck. But it would be nice to get those larger ones that we're targeting tonight. You gotta love a relaxing night fishing for whiting, that's for sure. That just took off. Like that. We're gonna have to measure that one. That one is very small for the standards of where we're fishing. So he's only a centimeter over. Had to measure him, had to break the ruler out. But anyway, as I said, we're just enjoying it. And uh, we haven't had a whiting session for a fair while. Well, pretty much since the start of the year. So it'll be a tasty feed. Take that one, mate. Big ones around tonight. Just legal again, guys. Nothing at all special to show you, but anyway, we just moved spots because that other one we were at was uh, very slow. And this is our first casts here, so hopefully there's some bigger ones hanging out with them, but it's not looking good so far. better one guys so I was just saying we're getting a few bites hopefully some bigger ones show up and that one's not too bad not a monster but it's bigger than the other ones we've been getting and um, dad's getting a bite at the same time so hopefully you see him hooking up in a second probably swallowed it it's just swimming around got it Hopefully we'll have two half decent whiting to hold up for you here guys. None of them have been giant. Oh geez, we might have to measure that one. He'll make it, but he'll make it, but he's he's not big. So we'll hold these up for you in a second. We'll just get the hooks out and get another bait back out while they're here. There you go guys, there's a couple more. Nice fish when you look at them up close. And uh, they're very tasty. So anyway, we're getting a few. I think that's 12 I think we're up to. We've been sort of counting, but it has been very slow tonight. But anyway, it's been a relaxing night. A few fish, hopefully some more. Whoop. Oh, we nearly took it. Get in? Yeah. Nice. A bit wide. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, another number guys there you go guys another absolute horse for you nah he's just legal and that's probably going to finish off the night for us it's getting sort of late and uh it's definitely not red hot we've had a good night relaxing night up here catching a few whiting nothing absolutely special like some of the sessions we've had in the past but you know we've had a good night relaxing oh, it's been good with my brother and my dad up here having a good time having a laugh catching some fish that's what it's all about in the end so you know, I'll put this one straight in the esky and unless dad gets one here we are going to head home all right well that was the end of the session guys but I promised you a couple of quick tips to finish off the video so we're going to give you five really quick tips now to help you go catch a few whiting yourself all right number one when you're looking for spots look on the inside bends of rivers and creeks and even estuaries so this is where the sand builds up and creates those sandbanks which the whiting love number two use a nice long leader we're using leaders of around 85 centimeters so it has less chance of spooking those fish especially the smart bigger ones use a sinker to suit the current and away you go all right, number three, if you aren't getting bites after a fair while and it seems dead, you can move up and down the bank a little bit um, or even side to side into shallower or deeper water and just try and find a few fish. That's what we did this session and we ended up picking a few bonus ones up towards the end because we moved spots. All right, tip number four, when fishing at night, it really pays to have a light there. It makes it much easier to fish, see your rods, see everything that you're doing, and it makes it a lot more comfortable in the boat as well, makes everything much easier. So that's definitely a must. Tip number five, fresh baits are best. You, live yabbies are what we were using. Um, some people swear by worms and they're great as well, but 
any live baits like that are absolutely crucial. If you have dead baits or soft, soggy baits, um, they're just gonna wash off the hook and they're not gonna be any good. So there's your fifth tip. One bonus tip that I'll give you, if you're catching small ones like we were in this session, beer battering them is a great way to cook them as it bulks them up and makes that feed go a little bit further and it tastes absolutely delicious. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. We're camping at the moment and the weather is absolutely terrible, so I'm gonna have plenty of time to edit some more videos for you. And there's plenty more on the way, so don't you worry about that. Until next time, guys, enjoy your fishing, get out there and chase some whiting, and uh, have good fun with your friends and family. All right, catch you in the next one.